Hi guys, I'm here again. I thought, I thought my little outfit came, but it didn't, so it's fine. We'll do that another day. Yeah, However, we're gonna try some new stuff on. This stuff, this stuff is someone else's, but maybe we'll like look at it, but like this is what I have today. Okay, so first, guys, I know I said like this is itchy, but I'm just gonna try it on for you guys, and then I wanted to compare it with the Sunday Best version, because I know you guys are interested. Oh, let me do my outfit of the day. Wow, so crazy. Okay, so I'm wearing my Makaj Kenya. Do you guys still have your Makaj Kenya? I'm still rocking it. Uh, after all these years, I think I've had this jacket for like over seven years now. Seven or eight years old, and it's still so nice. Um. I definitely can't zip it, like, definitely can't zip it, but it still fits okay. I have this set from like summer of 2021, and I don't remember the name, but it's that like flowy pant, and I have it also in like the orange pattern, um, except I just tied it, so it doesn't look so, what do you call it, like, baggy, because I wanted to winterize it, you know what I mean? So, and then I just have my uh, Nike Air Max on, and then some jewels. I have on, let's see, okay, I have the Heirloom from Missouri, Charlotte, my Cartier, and then, oh my god, and then my croissant, like normal, and then I always have this on, you guys know, it's the boyfriend link. Okay, let's go try on some stuff. So here's the first item, it's the Ghana Shadow Light Gray uh, and Birch, I believe. I will show you the tag so you guys can find it. I'm wearing size small. It is still itchy, guys. I'm just warning you. That's my biggest complaint about it. It's like a little bit scratchy and I really don't like that. I have eczema, so, but this is a size small. I know it looks really boxy, especially with what I'm wearing, but I don't know why I look so short today. I look like I'm like shrunken down. Like what's going on? That's the Ghana info, in case you are interested in this specific one. It is so cute. If it was made of like this felted material, I would 100% pick one up because I love, like I love this print. It's so cute. And it's just like the neutral is so beautiful. Okay, so this is the Sunday Best Sky in the color Heather Bone. I have a size medium on. It's very similar to the Ghana as like it's a shirt jacket, although it doesn't have the like scalloped hem on the bottom. And there are pockets on the side, which is really nice. And then also there's the two pockets on the breasts as well. However, this is a little bit cheaper and it's also a little bit warmer, I think, because it is lined. It's quilted on the inside. Quilted on the inside, so it's like a little bit thicker. And also if you were like allergic to the wool and you didn't like the wool feeling, the only feel of wool you'll get is like right here on the cuff here because it is quilted and like lined all the way through, which is really nice. For the price of 148, where a regular gun is 198, I think it's a good deal and a good like alternative to the gun if you don't like the gun. Here is the sky info. Okay, so this is the Wilfred Free Vista Puffer in a size small in the color soft sand. It is vegan leather and a vegan alternative down uh, because it's not goose down. It's just like um, polyester or cotton filled. It's cute. It's a very good alternative if you like the Super Puff or not the Super Puff, the Cloud Puff. It's very similar to the Cloud Puff. It has a zipper pull. It has uh, adjustable dongles. It has two pockets on the side here, but they don't close. So they're just open pockets. And then they also have a zipper inside pocket as well. I'll go through like the stats here afterwards or like whatever the info here afterwards. But this is what it looks like. I wouldn't recommend it if you're looking for something that's warm because they have so many other warm alternative jackets that like honestly, um, this won't keep you warm. Like first of all, it's cropped and then it's not even made of goose down like filled. So I don't know because I think they wanted it to be a vegan alternative, especially with it being vegan leather. Um, that's probably why they went with the vegan downfill alternative, but once again, if you're gonna be here in like negative 30 degree weather, girl, you are not gonna be warm. Well, you're not gonna be warm in general because like your whole bottom is exposed, but you know what I mean. Okay, so in case you were interested, this is the information. And then let's go through it. So it says Climate Lab Warmth Without Limits, Prima Soft Gold Insulation Luxe, I guess it's like the alternative vegan down 
vegan leather and designed in Canada. So it's not made here, but it is designed here. I think it's made in India, it says right there. And then you can see there's no pockets on this side, but there is the pockets on this side, so that's good. There's just a little zip pocket, which is nice because then it's on the inside. So if you did want to put like your wallet or something in there, it's fine. And then it has the tags here that says Prima Loft or whatever. I'm sure that's something. Okay. Cute, but maybe not too worth it because of the price tag. Like for $250, you can get a downfilled, but good alternative. All right, next up we have the Ashberry. I've already tried this one before. I actually own the Ashberry, like the first one they ever made. Um, I believe this one's cropped. This is the Ashberry in the color Heather Chrome in a size medium. I like it, but I don't think it's something that like you need to run out and buy, honestly, um, unless you don't have the Ashberry sweater. Because if you don't, then it's a good and cute option. But if you do, then you don't really need another one. If you have a wool allergy, then this is a really good alternative because it's 80% cotton and 20% nylon. So there's no, like, there's no wool. It's a very comfortable sweater. As I said before, I don't like things that are scratchy. So this is really good alternative. I'm not allergic to wool, but when it's like the Ghana and it's like poking at you or like the alpaca fur and it's like poking at you, I really can't stand it. But this is really comfortable. I own this already and I've washed it a million times. It hasn't pilled. So that's a really good option. If you're wondering why I'm holding it so high, it's because I broke it and it's kind of falling off, so. The Ashberry Heather Chrome. Okay, so this is the Rich Mocha Brown Ashberry. It's size medium again. Once again, very cute option, especially if you're over the sweat fleece and you want something like a little bit more elevated, but still comfortable, really good options. Okay, so this is the TNA Gladstone in a size 2 in the color Heather Chrome. Honestly, it's a really good alternative. I vlogged, um, I did a vlog at Sherwood Gardens and I showed the Canberra, I believe. It's a very similar cardigan, but it's supposed to be made of wool. And that, like, it was like super pilled. I thought it was really cute, but it was like super pilled and like already on the floor as if like no one wore it. So. Obviously, there might be a quality issue with that one. I think this is a good alternative. It's 98, so it's a lot cheaper than that anyways. And the only thing is like it has the TNA symbol. So if you don't like that, it's embroidered. So it's kind of cool, but um, this is a good alternative because I know with this cotton nylon blend, if it is the same as, oops, go ahead. I know with this cotton nylon blend, if it's the same as like the other one, then it shouldn't pill. Really, I came for this. I'm so sad because it does not look flattering. It's a size small, which is probably why it doesn't look flattering. Oh my god, my nips, girl. Um, but it's like really, it's like not, it's, it's just not. I don't know if it's the pants situation, but it's just not. I don't know, maybe because like my back fat is showing on the bottom. The Natalie and Dusky Green in a size small, so it's probably just not my size. I don't know. It just, I don't. It looks off. It looks so off. This is the info for this. All right, guys. So I am ending the vlog here. I forgot to end it at the store. I thought my skirt and blazer set, you know, the Lyle Birch or the Lyle, whatever. The one I showed at Sherway and on Instagram and you guys went crazy over, I thought it came in, but it didn't come in yet. So hopefully it's coming soon because I think Daniela said it was coming from like Quebec so hopefully it comes in soon but I'm super excited for it because it's coming soon obviously but I will show you guys that in the next video or whenever it comes in but anyways I hope you guys enjoy sorry Carly's making like weird noises because he is looking through something uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore hello Harley make sure to follow me on TikTok at hello Harley and I'll see you guys in the next one bye